Hey everyone! Today I'm doing the 10 art styles challenge. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically a challenge where I have to draw something or someone in my style and then draw the exact same thing in nine other art styles. So let's get started! So first of all, I'm drawing the subject, you could call it, in my style, and the subject for today's video is going to be me. Because on this particular day, I was feeling particularly uninspired. So I was like, yeah, I guess let's just do that, huh? <laughs> so yeah, so basically I'm going to be drawing myself in uh, 10 different styles. And the first one is my style. And for the second style that I chose, I picked Gravity Falls, which is one of my all-time favorite TV shows of all time. I just love the style so much, the story so much, it's just beautiful art. And uh, yeah, I just had to pick Gravity Falls. So I mainly use Mabel, uh, the character from the show, as the main reference for uh, the style, as, well, she's a female character and uh, she's got sort of curly hair, so it was kind of my point of reference of how in the show they draw curly hair on their characters. And uh, this challenge was super interesting because it was so out of my comfort zone. If you know me and you know sort of the way that I draw, you know that like this cartoony style isn't really how I'm used to drawing or I'm just, I don't think I've ever drawn anything in this style, in this kind of style ever before. So this is definitely very much out of my comfort zone, which is something that I needed. I was just feeling uninspired. And I was like, this is the perfect opportunity for me to do this challenge. Uh, so this is the result for um, my drawing in the Gravity Falls style. And next up, we've got Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing has a very iconic art style. Um, it's like very stylized, I guess you could say, in the Nintendo verse. And uh, yeah, I kind of just used my little character on Pocket Camp as the inspiration for this, you could call it. Except for the hair, sort of. I kind of had to mess around with the hair because Animal Crossing doesn't really have many curly hair options, which is something that they should probably uh, work on. But yeah, uh, with that aside, <laughs> I kind of just drew myself uh, with a cute little curly hair and basically the exact same characteristics and outfit that I have in my Animal Crossing. <laughs> so this wasn't much of a challenge, so to say, because I have customized my characters on my Animal Crossing and my Pocket Camp um, multiple, multiple times. Yeah, I'm obsessed with Animal Crossing, so what? <laughs> But it was a lot of fun also seeing how different styles have um, different sort of textures and stuff. So like, for example, in the Animal Crossing uh, style, the outlines are more textured, a little bit more rough, but there's more lighting and more highlights and stuff like that happening, which is something uh, quite fun. So the next style was Sailor Moon, and of course I had to put some sort of anime in here because it's such an iconic style, you could call it, um, that it's just like whenever people do this challenge, anime is definitely on the plate. And uh, my favorite anime, uh, besides Oran High School Host Club, but from my childhood it is Sailor Moon. And because I was picking my favorite cartoons and um, games and stuff like that, I decided that Sailor Moon would be a perfect fit because I did grow up watching it. And I feel like it's got the most iconic like um, anime style within the anime style, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Basically, yeah, I'm just doing a self-insert um, Sailor Moon Piper OC and um, no one can at me, okay? I deserve this. <laughs> so I just kind of drew out all my curls super defined, super like coily, which is how they like to draw curly hair in anime or just one curled ponytails, which apparently is a thing. Yeah, so uh, it was quite a lot of work, so to say, in terms of having to draw out all the curls really specifically and detailed, as opposed to, you know, the Animal Crossing and the 
uh, Gravity Falls style where it's just a blob. It obviously goes to show that anime is like obviously really detailed and everything has its own animation going on. Yeah, it's, it's, it's anime, yeah. And I'm not very well versed in anime by the way, I've only ever seen like uh, anime in my childhood and a few uh, growing up, so uh, obviously I feel like the one I've watched the most of was Sailor Moon. <laughs> So forgive me if I am just throwing out generalizations about anime that are incorrect. So yeah, I basically uh, then just colored everything in and of course with anime um, it was very interesting to see how they shade things because obviously it's not a very like seamless blend, it's more of like a block color shading, which again is something that I'm not very used to, so this was you know, interesting to figure out, especially there on the forehead and how the hair shadows like play uh, play up with um, in terms of shadows on the forehead. It was interesting. It was a lot of um, trial and error. But I think it ended up looking uh, okay and pretty cute. So yeah, it's looking very kawaii. <laughs> so that was the end result for uh, me as Sailor Moon. And next up, it's Disney. Of course, Disney had to be here. Very iconic, uh, stylized style. Nice one, Piper. But yes, yeah, so when I say Disney, I'm kind of more talking about the traditional old school Disney classics. So like Sleeping Beauty and uh, Cinderella and uh, Snow White and those, you know, classics. So I looked up a lot of Disney princesses, the OG Disney princesses, if you will, and I just kind of uh, studied a little bit of the, how they drew each feature of the face and then applied that to my face. Uh, but then something that was really interesting was trying to figure out how they draw hair because the only person with kind of curly hair in um, the, those old school movies is Belle. And uh, her hair isn't like curly from the top, it's more just curly at the bottom. So. I kind of tried to integrate that into the whole head of hair, uh, which was interesting, but it, I think it looked really cute. It's just like a lot of swirlies, which was adorable. But uh, yeah, I've never drawn anything in a Disney style before, so this was new. <laughs> It's also very interesting how Disney uh, always does this sort of, it walks a very fine line between cartoony and sort of realistic style. So like, you know what I mean? Like everything is quite realistic, but then proportions are kind of like cartoonish. And um, yeah, it was just very, really interesting uh, actually analyzing this after spending so many years of my life watching these movies <laughs> and not really paying attention to the style and everything. So that was the end result for the Disney uh, style. And next up, we have Steven Universe. Again, one of my all time favorite uh, TV shows of all time. I know I say this for many TV shows, but Steven Universe and Gravity Falls and Bob's Burgers and Adventure Time. Okay, <laughs> most of the styles that I do in this challenge are my favorites, but Steven Universe is obviously so beautiful. It's known for how beautiful of an art style and concept art that the show has, so obviously I had to put it in here. And again, I used mostly Amethyst and some of the uh, gems as a a reference for this like some of the chunkier gems because there's like the skinny gems and then there's like the chunky gems and they, the way that they draw them is like quite different so if you look at like for example peridot and compare peridot to like i don't know garnet or amethyst they have like different styles but yeah so i i mainly use amethyst and garnet as inspiration for this uh, especially the lips and like the eyes and stuff like that are very specific to Steven Universe and I just think it's so cute. I just love the style so much. It's so pure and cute and I decided to put the gem on my forehead because I just I think that my gem would be on on right smack center in my forehead where normally all my zits decide to pop up. So yeah and then I made the gem uh, my favorite color which is like a teal minty color. So I guess it would be like a turquoise or like a sapphire or something like that. But I don't know. Let me know what the name of this specific gem is. And 
So um, that was pretty much it for the Steven Universe style character. And next up, we have Bob's Burgers. So you guys, I love Bob's Burgers so much. It is so funny and the style is hilarious. It's just every character that you see is so funny to look at. And I just really wanted to see what I would look like as a Bob's Burgers character. So that was pretty much my reasoning for choosing this one. And yeah, it didn't disappoint. I look hilarious. <laughs> I just can imagine myself in the show having like a really ridiculous voice. It's just such a good show. And it really captured the sort of tired, dead behind the eyes look that I possess in real life. So yeah, I mean, Bob's Burgers hit me up. I'll, I'd love to, you know, be a guest, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> It's just really fun, a really funny show and a really funny. Um, but yeah, after this one, it was time for Adventure Time. I love Adventure Time. Who doesn't love Adventure Time? It's got a very, very, very specific, iconic style. Every, everyone who just sees Adventure Time style know, oh, that's Adventure Time. Um, I miss Adventure Time as well. Uh, who doesn't? But yeah, I pretty much used Princess Bubblegum as um, inspiration for this, of course. She's like the main female character. So um, yeah, I love how <laughs> cute the faces are. Look at that derp. And just the noodly arms, it's just perfect. I just love this show so much. Um, but yeah, I just think it ended up looking really adorable as, as is everything in the Adventure Time universe. Again, it was very interesting to see how different styles don't have any shading whatsoever, like Bob's Burgers, but then some other shows have very tiny sh shading, like this one, it has just a little bit of a highlight in the hair. Um, but moving on, the next one that I did was Powerpuff Girls, which again, very iconic style. I, again, watched this all through my childhood. I love Powerpuff Girls so much. It was everything I watched every day before school. I just love it. And I just wanted to see myself again as a Powerpuff Girl. I'm just basically doing nine different inserts of myself in my favorite TV shows, so don't mind me. <laughs> this one was very interesting because the anatomy of um, this style is very obviously questionable. It was interesting to kind of see what pose I was going to put her in or how different features worked in this style. So for example, I could not figure out what to do with the legs or the arms and it was just kind of a struggle in that sense. But I think I ended up figuring it out and it's basically like you can copy and paste the same face on Powerpuff Girls and just change like, I don't know, the hair and the color of the eyes and it's a different character. So this one was pretty quick to, you know, figure out. It was just, you know, a good watermelon head character, you know, that good melon. And of course, my superhero Powerpuff Girl outfit was gonna have to be stripes. Um, like, have you met me? <laughs> so after Powerpuff Girl Piper, it is time for our last style, which is none other than Fairly Odd Parents. And I kind of wanted to categorize this one as Fairly Odd Parents and uh, Danny Phantom because the two styles are very similar. And, uh, but I just kind of ended up going for Fairly Odd Parents. Um, again, a show that I grew up watching, hilarious show, amazing character design as well. Uh, the director of the show and the creator of the show was actually on an episode of Drawfee a while back and is probably one of my favorite episodes uh, because they they just got the guy who created the show to draw knockoff characters from the show. It was hilarious and he talks a lot about the, the show and the process and everything. Um, but yeah, all that aside, it was very, very fun figuring out how to draw curly hair in this style. <laughs> I just kind of took um, Wanda as an inspiration, uh, but she has like kind of a uh, uh, push back like uh, updo hair hairdo but uh yeah i i still uh still figured it out i think and it's this it's just such an iconic style i just love it so much and it it just makes me giddy inside whenever i see one of the characters from the show i think i really nailed it on this i was very very proud of myself and um it was really nostalgic doing this challenge actually
look at all these cute little characters. I'm so happy with how they turned out. Let me know, guys, which one is your favorite. Yeah, and if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.